says a guy from Sweden can't play Latin jazz? And who says a German band can't play mambo style? Ladies and gentlemen, sit back, relax, and enjoy the incredible story of Lex Easy and the Mumbo Club. To find out about the musical inspiration of Lex Easy and the Mumbo Club, we have to go back to the early 50s of the past century. A young guy mixed up the Latin scene in New York City. He played a very special swing in his vibraphone and had an enormous influence on Latin music. His name was Cal Jader. Though his parents were from Sweden, Cal Jader was well accepted by the Latino musicians. He played with legends like Amanda Peraza, Mango Santa Maria, Eddie Palmieri, or Tito Puente, also known as El Rey del Timbales, the King of the Timbales. Fifty years later, a symposium of the Yehudi Menuhin Foundation took place in Altea, Spain. Vala Millis, a West African-inspired percussionist from Germany, met the classically educated vibraphonist Alexander Wachewski, who had studied at the Royal Conservatorium of Den Haag, Netherlands. Both decided to found a band to honor the fabulous music of Cal Jader. The idea of Lex Easy and the Mambo Club was born. Since Vala knew Kai Vesta from the early days of drumming, he asked him to join the band. Kai studied Cuban and Brazilian percussion at the Conservatorium in Rotterdam, the Netherlands. There he was educated by some of the most famous percussionists from all over the world, like Mr. Massal, Amando Peraza, Giovanni Lago, and Nicky Marrero, just to mention a few. After playing several concerts supported by different musicians, Thomas Tebla on piano and Matze Banga on double bass joined the band. Lex Easy and the Mambo Club started on tour jazz clubs and jazz festivals. Henry Storch, the owner of legendary label Unique Records, signed the band. The concept of the upcoming release was to record some songs by the legendary backup catalog of Unique Records. The label had just celebrated their 99th record release, so that was the time for Lex Easy and the Mambo Club to record Unique 100. Within 14 songs, the band covered and re artists like Malente, Eli Gula, Xava Fischer, the Frank Pop Ensemble, Philip Noha, and Ben and Scott Addison of Corduroy. The CD and vinyl record, Unique 100, opened the doors to new dimensions of concerts, commercials, and events. While the band toured through Europe, Eddie Torres from New York City put his ear, or one should say his feet, on Mambo Club's version of Breakaway, originally written by the Frank Pop Ensemble. Eddie Torres was a dancer with a legendary Tito Puente Orchestra. Take your time and see him performing with Tito Puente for the former president of the United States of America, George W. Bush. We're ready to begin. The president and Mrs. Bush and the audience are taking their seats. So we invite you to settle back. He is known as the Mambo King. This sí, señor. Here along with the editorial dancers is the legendary Tito Puente. Eddie Torres danced to the Lex Easy and Mambo Club's version of Breakaway at the New York Salsa Congress in 2008. The song started to be a hit in dance schools all over the world. Nowadays, you can see people dance to the tune from Rio to Tokyo or Cape Town to Vancouver. It was and still is an essential tune for Mambo dancers everywhere. After this enormous success and hundreds of concerts, the band is now back in the studio joined by Christoph May on clarinet and Thomas Kukulis on congas. The new concept and goal is to cover film themes of the 70s and 80s of the past century in the unique style of Lex Easy and the Mambo Club. So tunes like Kojak, Magnum, or Robbie Toby and the Fever Trute will soon be released on CD and of course on vinyl as well. You can all look forward to this release, which again will show the incredible potential of Lex Easy and the Mambo Club. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching and listening to this short documentation. And watch out, maybe it's your city next who will announce, open the stage for the incredible 
Lexi Z and the Mumbo Club. <laughs>